Hey YouTube, love and light. The Empress is in the building and welcome to the Empire. Um, I want to thank you for stopping by and supporting my channel. I am going to be reading for our uh, fire signs today. So that will be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is a collective read, so it may not resonate for everyone. So please just take what resonates and leave the rest for whoever needs it. If this does resonate for you, go ahead and hit like, share, and subscribe to join our spiritual tribe and to help the channel grow. I'm going to go ahead and clear the energy off of the space, and then we'll go ahead and get started. I want to thank you all for being so patient. I was a little under the weather, so I got a little late start this week, but I appreciate you all um, supporting and watching my videos. Thank you so much. So I hope all is well with my uh, fire signs. Hope all is well, all is well in the empire. I am recovering. So let's go ahead and get this energy cleared and we'll go ahead and get started. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, and guides, I ask that you protect me as I go into the white light of the tarot. Give me clear and honest messages from my fire signs today. Anything that is of you, light and love, anything that is not of you, I ask that you return to sender tenfold. I ask that you protect my fire signs as they receive these messages. Thank you, Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. So this will be for the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are not a fire sign and you are here um, viewing this video, this message is for you. So everybody is welcome. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's get into it. Let's go. What's going on with my fire signs? So somebody very magnetic, very seductive, charming, attracting new things in life. Mm, I like it. That's a good start. Let's see what's going on. Mm, somebody might be rebuilding. Maybe somebody is uh, uh, separated from someone, rebuilding their life after a separation. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Somebody definitely manifesting. So you um, uh, manifesting, focus on your goals, uh, manifesting abundance, all your um, dreams and desires, your hopes, dreams, and desires. Let's see what's going on with my fire signs. What's going on, fire signs? Let's see what we got in the energy today, spirit, for our fire signs. What's going on with my fire signs today, spirit? Let me get some energy from my fire signs. Ooh, ooh, that's too many cards. Energy from my, okay. Ooh, somebody might be sending you some evil eyes. Somebody pissed off. Somebody big mad. <laughs> uh, but you are being protected. Um, just make sure you are cleansing um, and, and protecting your energy. You got some jealous people that might be um, in your energy. Um, and just be careful who you trust. Make sure you doing your return to senders. You wearing your uh, protective uh, protective jewelry. Um, also using your protection crystals. Um, you doing your um, your uh, cleansing baths, things like that. Protecting your home. Using your black salt, whatever it is you use to protect yourself. And just, you know, like I said, be careful who you trust. Make sure you're not uh, over-talking and over-telling your business. Because people are definitely trying to, that you got some jealous people. Jealous friends, family. Could be a jealous lover for all we know. Ooh, my card dropped. Hold on, y'all. Um, so, just make sure you're protecting your energy and cleansing and, and doing those return to senders. Oh, it could be a third party sending you some evil eye. So somebody you was dealing with might be indulging in a third party connection. And maybe this person is watching you and sending you some evil eye. Uh, or maybe somebody you in separation with that was entertaining a third party. You broke up because y'all was, uh, this person was dealing with a third party. And maybe that person or maybe this person... Um, was in a connection with somebody and had you as a third party. Mm. But uh, definitely it's a lot of people interfering in your business, sending you some evil eyes, some jealous people. Could be some jealous family members, friends, possible love triangle. But definitely too many people all involved in your business trying to figure out what it is you're doing. So be careful who you trust. Be careful what you're telling people. Um, kind of move in silence. Somebody is definitely watching you. So somebody could be stalking you, uh, watching your social media. Um, yeah, so. Mm -mm. But you are protected. Just know that you are protected, fire signs. Let's see what else. Oh, let's see. 
stepping stone, taking one step at a time. Don't rush the journey, gradually building on success, the start of something bigger. Yeah, so you manifesting, you definitely manifesting, you focusing on uh bigger things, you uh broadening your horizons. Um, it may be something that you're working on that's slow taking off, but um, just use that as a stepping stone. Just take it one day at a time. Don't rush the journey. Somebody could be going through a spiritual awakening. So also um, one day at a time, uh, but you are manifesting, um, meditating, doing some introspection, but um, you, you, you seeing, you seeing a bigger picture. You want more, um, bigger things in your life, better things in your life, healthier things in your life. Um, so somebody could be focused on a business or starting a new business, but be careful what you uh, tell people because a lot of people ain't clapping for you, you know? Um, so you could be uh, getting a promotion at work. Somebody could be going into a leadership position. Somebody could be leaving one job, going to another, you know, making some bit better career moves. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like you're working on your your uh career path. You know, you're trying to uh bring in more money, more streams of income, or better stream of income, or you earn to work uh money through your current job to focus on being an entrepreneur. Yeah, but just be careful of what what you tell people, especially at work, because like I said, everybody ain't clapping for you, and everybody don't want to see you um, progress. So, yeah, you got a lot of jealous people around you sending you some evil eye. Mm. Ooh, you got some jealous people at work and a damn jealous third party. For some of you, it's a jealous third party. Some of you, it's some people at work that's sending you some evil eyes. So, just be careful. Protect yourself. Let's see what else is going on with my... um. Okay, so you might, you might be at a crossroad with somebody. Hmm. So, uh, definitely at a stalemate in a connection due to a third party energy or, uh, you know, a love triangle or just other people, friends and family getting involved, nosy ass people, um, gossiping and shit, <laughs> but you're at a crossroad. Um, and you know, right now you kind of indecisive about where you want to go, what direction you want to go in, but you are going to have to make a choice. Um, and you are, uh, learning from your your mistakes with this person or this person is learning from their mistakes you know you you focus on new possibilities you know something is changing and you are embracing this change hmm uh you could be uh going on a spiritual journey like i said an awakening somebody could be going through a transformation hmm and maybe um Somebody is not happy about uh, your religious choices or re religious beliefs. Somebody could be talking about that. Somebody could be, you know, healers, um, light workers, star seeds. Somebody could be doing tarot readings. Somebody could be doing some tarot readings on you, get information about you. Yeah, but it's a lot of secrets going on in your um in your surroundings so just be careful about um and move in silence you need to be moving in silence right now and protecting your energy yeah so because i feel like somebody is definitely spying on you telling your business not want to see you grow at work you know but you headed toward growth and finance uh, uh, uh growth and um expansion mm -hmm. so you got to make some um smart choices you know using your logic making head over heart decisions especially at work and in your love life let's see what else spirit what else spirit what else spirit what else okay oh look so somebody is watching you online online you know um somebody could be active on social media you could have a social media platform and this could be a a, a method of somebody spying on you um you possibly have a strong uh social media presence you could be an e uh, uh, influencer uh somebody could be doing some online dating third parties meet people uh, third parties online um you could be starting an online business but you definitely got somebody watching you online you know and this third party is who i feel like is watching you so you know be careful of this person this person could be unhealthy they sell very toxic 
you know, uh, this person could be uh, having some resentment. If, uh, oh, okay, look, uh, resentment because of your glow up um, or um, could have some resentment because the person they went could be possibly leaving them for you. Or could have left them for you. Or it could be somebody who's um, entertaining your person. Dealing with your uh, your person trying to um, block your your blessings and happiness. But you got good luck and fortune coming towards you. Uh huh. So there's some positive changes coming towards your life. And your wishes are going to be uh, fulfilled. So it's going to be some unexpected happiness coming in work for some of you. And in love for some of you. So take it um, how it resonates. Everybody know their story. Everybody is different. This is a collective read, so it may not resonate for everybody. But, um, yeah. Okay. What else, spirit? What else, spirit? What else, spirit? What else? Oh, there's too many cards. Spirit trying to gossip today. <laughs> gossiping huh are you the one <laughs> gossiping spirit come on now. we want to know we do inquiring minds want to know but not that much at one time okay give me a few a couple of cards one or two cards at a time i can do that but okay it says alien okay so somebody you might be feeling alienated at this time from your friends your family or you know uh, a person you was dealing with um, feeling like you don't fit in because you're going through this spiritual journey. Sometimes when you go through this spiritual journey, you see people for who they are. You stop blocking them because they don't, they're not in alignment with you anymore. Mm -hmm. You feel like you're dealing with a foreigner or dealing with foreigners. Um, because you, you, um, taking a chance and, and embracing new experiences in life. These people might, you know, they definitely jealous. They don't want to see you successful. They want to be, want you to be stagnant in, in negative energy, but you're very optimistic and um i feel like you know you got some haters in your corner hmm or in your energy mm-hmm yeah so somebody could be taking sides or you could be feeling alienated at work somebody sees that um you are very successful a leader you know um highly respected at work and, and somebody don't like that so somebody is possibly alienating you or you might need to move on to a new job and working on that and somebody don't like that either they want you to stay stuck you know slaving for them and not you know possibly getting the the uh what the earnings that you're worth you know yeah so like, yeah, you probably just don't fit in with those people. You're not in a line with them. They give maybe your uh, personalities clash, but, you know, work is work, you know? We ain't got to be friends, but we got to work together and, and show each other mutual respect, okay? Hmm. So, deep thinking. It says, um, we got deep thinking here. It says, um, thinking twice on a decision, preoccupied with one's thoughts, self-reflection, being analytical and logical. Yeah, so you're making head over hearts decision you using your logic you going within you know um doing some introspection you contemplating about what direction you want your life to go in because you're at a crossroads so you know you uh leveling up you and going on this uh going through this transition going through an awakening and, and you just don't fit in anymore so you know now you have to remove all these people that's no longer serving you and this has got you at a crossroads you know you know, you're doing all this self-reflection, you know, doing some shadow work yourself, you know, ascending to a higher version of yourself, and, and people don't like it. They jealous. They jealous of your energy. Mm-hmm. Because you leveled up. You highly respected. You know, you're a very positive person, very optimistic. You know, they want you to be in this negative energy. There's some people that's mad as hell. Look, anger. Somebody big mad. This third party, big man, whoever this, uh, got, you know, uh, third party is that's watching you, they mad. And you probably ain't even with the person no more. They pissed off because they know that they, they person love you or, you know, they mad because this person left them for you. You know, if this person is with somebody else, I don't know if you knew or not, but whatever it is, I feel like you're in separation from this person. But, you know, you got a lot of people interfering with your business, in your business. 
you know, this person could be um, embarrassed because people found out that this person was dealing with you. Or found, you know, or embarrassed because this person left them for you. Hmm. But somebody is feeling wronged or you could be feeling like you've been wronged in a situation. Or maybe this person was in a, a high level commitment with somebody else and didn't tell you. And you had to walk away from this person or you had a crossroad with this person that still made you had to go, you know, make a tough decision about the direction of your life. But um, you maybe feel like somebody wronged you. I know it's a lot of chaos and conflict, disagreements, arguments going on with this person. Or you could be uh, arguing with the third party. But definitely some uh, tempers flaring here. A lot of uh, ego clashes. You know, somebody got a lot of pent up anger. But um, also, you might you have, you know, some ego clashes at work. Or maybe somebody, you were supposed to get a, a promotion and it was given to someone else. And now you want to leave. Now you got people watching you, evil eyeing you at work. Hmm. What else, spirit? Oh, oh. Let me grab these cards, y'all. <laughs> Sorry, fire signs. Cause these cards be going all over the place. But they so pretty. Ooh, but you definitely got a snake in your energy. It says um, a snake. So whoever you're dealing with was definitely a snake hiding shit. So they could have been hiding this person. It says time of healing, shed old skin, secret knowledge, jealousy, and envy. Oh, wow. So this, your, even your uh, the person you was dealing with, this person could be jealous of your glow up. This person could see you... Uh, you know, uh, making smarter financial decisions for yourself, earning more money. You could earn more money than them, you know, or this person could be jealous because they can't be with you no more. You could be out here dating other people. Hmm. Yeah. So definitely it was a snake in your energy here. So you definitely need to protect yourself because <laughs> you got a whole bunch of jealous people around you at work, your lovers, your friends could be some family members you know and it says round and round not applying lessons learned unhealthy pattern or on repeat unable to let go of the past repeating an old story so this has been an um, ongoing um cycle with you and someone so whoever this person is that you were with or whoever um is in separation with their person um this person is not applying the lessons they learned or you not applying the lessons you learned you know but i feel like you are um thinking about uh, how you contributed to this this um, situation and this person taking you possibly for granted or you, you know, not living in your truth or turning a blind eye to what was going on. Um, maybe you unable to let go of the past. Maybe this is somebody you've been with for a long time. Hmm. But this is some somebody you've been in. Maybe this person just been very in and out with you, very non-committal, um, and overindulging in third parties and creating some jealousy jealousy between you and the person they dealing with. Or maybe this person uh chose somebody over you. Hmm. But whatever it was, it was fated to happen. But the will is turning in your favor. This person could be getting some karma for how they uh, handled you. Um, yeah, but I feel like you might've had some unhealthy, uh, habits or this person could have had some unhealthy habits. You could have had some unhealthy work habits that kept you from getting a job or, you know, um, uh, or maybe you just wasn't friendly with those people. Or like I said, you wasn't in alignment with those people and they, uh, didn't like that. So they don't want you to, you know, excel at work. Oh, Thank you for the confirmation spirit. I mean, my little, uh, oh, wow. I, I had bubbles come up in my candle, y'all. Bubbles. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is something. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, <laughs> but um, you, you need to focus. You, you need to make a choice. This is all about you making a choice. This is, you know, you had a turning point in your life. Things are going to be working out in your favor and big changes are necessary for you to attract what it is that you want. So you're going to have to release some of this negative energy, these toxic people out of your life and focus on your goals um, and watch what you're telling people. You need to move in silence because these people do not want you to be successful. Uh. Oh, wow. 
Oh, wow. This candle done blew me, y'all. Yeah, so you on a new journey. You you at a crossroads. You you got to make a decision. You got two paths to go in. So, you know, um, you know, you, you planning, you know, but somebody thought the grass was greener on the other side. So I feel like maybe somebody cheated on you, you know, and went towards somebody, chose somebody over you. And they realized when the grass wasn't greener on the other side. Now you decide to whether you want to stay or go. But, you know, the the uh, divine is urging you to move forward. Take it one day at a time. Don't rush, rush your journey. But you got too many people involved in your business, in your relationship, or what have you. So you got to uh, do some self-reflection. -refle um, know your worth. And not stand for anything less than you um, deserve. Because you got a snake. You know, this is time for you to shed this old skin. A snake uh, might shed their skin, but hell, they still a snake at the end of the day. So you need to take this time out to heal, uh, recalibrate, get some rest, meditate, use your intuition, um, use your inner wisdom. You know, because you got secret knowledge. You are connected to the divine. Um, you got your angels. Um uh getting you back here you know so but you're destined for great things but for you to call in those blessings you got you're gonna have to go through this healing process because you're the star you know it took you a lot of strength and courage to do this it's going to take you some strength and courage to do this you know but you you know you're very confident you're very compassionate um you know you're trying to maintain control but you overcome the self-doubt you know, and, and going through this renewal and you headed, to, you know, towards this healing, healing, your spiritual growth. You having faith and um, hope that, you know, everything that you want is going to come to fruition. And it is because the will is turning you up. This, this, but this was destined to happen for you to ascend to the highest version of yourself, for you to see people for who they are, to see the bigger picture. What else, spirit? What else? Yeah. To expand your horizons. Oh, that's candle. Oh, okay. Somebody show sending some. Okay, because this person was in this player energy. You had uh, somebody, a knight of wands, but you had a lot of passion for this person. You know, um, but you are very energetic, very um, ambitious. You know, you're fearless. You're very confident and self-assured in yourself, but you're dealing with somebody who's very rebellious too. Um, this person might be a shameless flirt. Um, you know, but this person, you know, you, you could be a very good looking person, but I feel like you are too. You know, this person comes in with passion, very warm, charismatic. Um, but this person is not committal. This person could have been, um, love bombing you, gaslighting you. Hmm. Hoovering. Yeah. But I feel like you was overwhelmed with this person, with this energy. And you could be overwhelmed with the people around you, overwhelmed with your job, your priorities, your responsibilities, right? But now you got to make a decision, you know, you stressed out, you got a lot of weight on your shoulders, you know, you might feel obligated to stay with this person for some reason, or you might be obligated to stay at a job for a reason, you know, but I feel like you bur burnt out. You feel like you've been taken for granted. Maybe you be overworked in your job. And not receiving, you know, the the pay that you should be getting. You know, you and you, you know, I feel like you just been settling for less. Just to people, please. And it's been a repetitive cycle with you. So you got to break this old uh, toxic habit and go within and figure out why it is that you allowing this to happen. Oh, okay. Let's see what else. Okay. Yeah, so you got yourself in this... Uh, Eight of Swords energy here. You know, you got yourself in this uh, self-imposed prison. You feel like you're trapped, but you're not. You know? You you got to release this fear and anxiety. You got a lot of fear and anxiety. You feel pressure. You feel hopeless and helpless. You feel like you don't have no power, but you do. You just need to stand in it. Hmm. And, and walk away from this shit that ain't up serving you no more. You're not helpless. You know, you might be dealing with Sagittarius. Could be dealing with a Gemini. 
You know, so you're going into isolation to, to think. You're doing some deep thinking, doing this introspection, self-reflecting, you know. Yeah, but somebody betrayed you, you know. Could be, you know, the somebody at work that betrayed you. And also in a relationship or in a relationship for some of you. Somebody backstabbed you. You got a lot of enemies. You got a lot of people bad-mouthing you, talking shit, gossiping. They want to see you in ruin. They don't want you to be successful. You know? So you got a lot of jealous people around you because, you know, they're jealous of your energy, jealous of your uh, ability to uh, 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 manifest what it is you want. You know, they see that you are um, very um, self-assured. You're fearless. You're very confident in yourself. And you got a great personality. Hmm. But you got a lot of snakes around you. You need to get, yeah, you need to rethink um, the people you're around. You need to pay attention to the people you're around. Use your inner intuition. Mm -hmm. but, but I see you uh, holding on things that's no longer serving you. Mm -hmm. You need to hold back from those people. So maybe it's some deep-seated past issues that's keeping you codependent or bound to some of these people. Maybe um, somebody you was dealing with in a relationship was very controlling, very possessive. And maybe you stayed for financial stability and security. But you can be successful all on your own. Yeah. Just take it one day at a time. Yeah. Yeah. And here you are, like I said, feeling trapped, but you're not. You've been enlightened about something, though. You, you're limiting your own possibilities. So you need to release anything that's no longer serving you. You need to um, surrender to the divine. You know, I feel like you have a lack of direction right now. You don't know what direction to go in. Hmm. Maybe you, uh, you know, comfortable at your job, scared to, to move, uh, try something new. But I feel like you're starting to see things from a different perspective. And that's why you in deep thought and contemplation about what's the next step in your life. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I feel like you bored at your job, bored in your relationship. You know, somebody feel like they have a missed opportunity with you, though. You know, the, the relationship was stagnant. This person was just very noncommittal. They want their cake and eat it, too. You know, this person was very self-absorbed. And, and, and they have a nostalgia about them, or you might be having a nostalgia about them, or they, they are having a nostalgia about you, but you also are having nostalgia about them. You know, they feel regret and remorse. For how things ended. But you know. They brought that on themselves. Yeah. So this person could have been married. Or you could have been married to this person. So that might be why it's so hard to leave. You know. You might be a very traditional person. Or this person might be uh, traditional. And, and you might be spiritual. So your belief system may not align. Hmm. Oh, wow. But I see you want a commitment from someone. For those of you who are not in a marriage, I feel like you want a commitment. You're bored with this connection and you, you know, decide whether you want to go or stay with this person. But this person is definitely um, entertaining third parties. You know, you got their third parties watching you. Yeah. And I feel like, you know, you need to not conform to a certain belief or a certain idea to please anybody else. You need to be pleasing yourself. Okay, I feel it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, you know, you again, you've been enlightened about something. Temperance card here. We got the Hierophant, Temperance. You know, so it could be dealing with a Taurus. We could have um, Cancer, um, Gemini Heavy here. Um, we got Capricorn. Um, and we have Pisces here. We got Sagittarius, but, you know, balance is about to be restored in your life. You know, you need to just pour in your own cup. You need to embrace these changes. These fives here, we got two fives here. So, something you need to change in your life. Um, 
and and this is all about you making a decision because you've been enlightened about something and 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 whatever it is you got going on in your relationship or at work for those of you who have the work issues uh, it is no longer serving you you know um somebody also sees you as their soulmate but they're not acting right they entertain entertaining third people and third party people or you know got everybody else in your business but like I said, you're seeing things from a different perspective. You've been enlightened about something. You got a lot of great ideas. You just need to be confident enough to move forward. You know, I see judgment's been called on a situation. And you're getting a second chance at life. Your renewal. You're going through this renewal. You just got, you need, you need to make a decision. But I feel like somebody might want a second chance with you. Because uh, whatever they uh, decided to pour into these third parties, they're not getting no fulfillment out of either. Yeah. Yeah. This person a damn snake. Shit. Mm-hmm. Creating a lot of uh, you know, jealousy and envy around you. Bring a lot of negative energy towards you. So yeah. So there was a death here. And uh yeah, you're going through this transformation, you know. You go you're heading towards new beginnings. You 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 gonna this this is gonna be inevitable. You know, this is divinely guided. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Yeah, so something unexpectedly happened either at work or with a, a person you're dealing with for some of you. And um, and it's causing you to go through this major transformation, this major change. You letting go of stuff and embracing new, the new. It's all about having a rebirth, starting all over, new beginnings. You know, some things have to end for you to head towards your new beginning. But the will is turning in your favor. This was fated to happen. This is divine stepping in to help you see your worth. They are protecting you from these negative energies, you know. But it's up to you to make the decision. So I see you in isolation, working on yourself, perfecting your craft. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to pay out for you. Mm hmm So you might be building a business, you know, um, trying to build your reputation up. But you you putting in the hard work and you committed. You're very dedicated. You know, and you're gonna be successful, and people don't want that. People want to see you fail. But you know, take all that negative energy and turn it into and transmute that power. You know, you know, all this hurt and pain, backstabbing and, you know, feeling alienated. Transmute that into power and, and go on your journey. Hmm. Yeah, because I see this six of wands, victory and success coming your way. Oh, wow. I don't went over, but that's okay. And you're going to head towards ultimate happiness, the sun here. So you're going to be victorious. Yeah. You're going to receive the recognition that you deserve. In your work life, you know, you're going to have supporters and well-wishers. Yeah. And you, you're going to attract abundance. Um, you might attract somebody who wants to marry you. You might be receiving a marriage proposal. Here you are in this Queen of Pentacles energy. Yeah, being successful. You're very mature and grounded. You know, you got high social standards and status. You're a social butterfly. You're very loyal. You're going to be prosperous. You're going to be, you know... Yeah, you are you attracting the wealth. We got Leo energy here. We got um Virgo again. Let's see. So you just gotta you just gotta decide. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you putting in the work. Somebody wanna collaborate with you though. Somebody coming back. Mm -hmm. They want a rebirth, they want a reunion. You know, so somebody, it's a lot of people studying you, trying to copy off you. They can't copy your energy. They can't replicate that energy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so keep your, your ideas to yourself. Be careful who you trust and keep moving forward. You are going to be victorious. Hmm. What else for my fire signs? Give me one more. Ooh. One more. Okay. Yeah. So again, just keep moving forward. You might be receiving some communication from someone, from your person. Uh, Sagittarian energy here. You know, this moment, your, your, this uh, energy is going to gain a momentum. Somebody wants to, um, to come in and take action towards you. 
you know, all right, and I see you taking action towards your future. So just keep on moving forward with determination and drive, and everything is going to work out in your favor. And I see you setting boundaries for yourself. You receive some truth and clarity. You're not standing for anything less than you deserve. And it's Queen of Swords energy, Aquarian energy here. You know, you're looking for uh, fairness. Um, and you being objective, you just, you using your discernment, you being realistic about this, you, you know, you're very independent, you know, somebody, you know, you won't listen to what they say, but if it don't align with where, where you're trying to go, you're not trying to hear that. Yeah. So you want fairness and, um, truth and clarity, and that's what you're going to get. Okay. Yeah. So let's see. Let's get some um, closing advice for our fire sign. And we can close it out. Okay. Closing advice from my fire sign spirit. Give me some closing advice from my fire signs. Give me some closing advice from my fire signs. Give me some closing advice from my fire signs. Closing advice from my fire sign spirit. Oh, thank you. Thank you, spirit. <clears throat> okay, so we got... You are your greatest gift. Your life journey is your masterpiece. So, yeah, you, focus on yourself. Self-love, self-care, pour into your own cup. Um, 28 might be significant. 8, 2, 82, 10. Definitely closing out some old cycles and headed towards new beginnings. You just got to embrace these changes and make these decisions. Mm -hmm. What else, Spirit? Give me some more closing messages. Okay, thank you. Okay, it says, um, what does your heart want? Be free to manifest your heart's desires. Go towards your heart's desire. Fuck what everybody else wants. Stop pouring into other people. You know what I'm saying? Uh, people pleasing, conforming. Be free to manifest your heart's desire. You are free to manifest your heart's desire and you are going to be successful. It says walk your own journey. It's essential to stay on your own path. Don't walk nobody else's journey. Walk your own path. You know, bring in your own abundance. Make your own decisions. Attract what it is you want, your hopes, dreams, and desires. So 24 could be significant. Six could be significant because you're very balanced. And people don't like that. They jealous of your energy. Very balanced. And it's 30. Could be significant. 3. Hmm. 42. Okay. So that's what I have for you, Fire Signs. If it's resonated for you, go ahead and hit like, share, and subscribe. And until the next video, love and light.